Hi, welcome to the McGuffey Readers Online Tutor. Today's lesson is from the McGuffey's First Eclectic Reader, and we are on Lesson 15. Lesson 15. Oh, John! Lesson 15. Oh, John! And our words for today are John, Rock, Set, Jump, Fun, must, may, under, skip, bank, but, touch. Let's look at the original printing of these words as you find them in the book itself. Notice that many of the letters that you see, the vowels mostly, except for that one N, have little symbols around them. And those symbols just give you tips on how to pronounce the words. So we want to look at that today. And the first group of sounds we want to look at are short vocals. Short vocals. And most short vocals are vowels. Well, all short vocals are vowels. And here they are. Let's look at them. The A, E, I, O, U, and the double O. The double O is also, has also a short vocal sound. Let's look at the A first, though. The A, today we do have a word in our vocabulary list, bank, that has that short A sound, bank. And it also has the N that makes the NG sound. Now we have the short vocal E sound, and we use that little curved symbol to let you know that it is a short vocal sound, so that when you say the word set, you don't say seat. Set. Okay? And then we have the short I sound. We also use the curve over the top of it just when we're looking at the phonics, but when we write it, we have the little dot and we say skip and not Skype. Okay, skip. Then we have the O, the O short vowel sound, ah, has a little curve on top, and we say John, rock, not Joan or Roke. Okay, John Rock. That's that short O sound. Then we have the short U sound, the same symbol to tell you that it's short. And we say jump, fun, must, but, touch, under. We say the uh sound and not the U. We don't say jump. We say jump. We don't say foon. We say fun. And look at under. Under, I put, I separated it because it has two, um, give me the word, give me the word, syllables, thank you. Two syllables, under. It's our first one that we have that has, first word that we have that has two syllables. Okay, let's get back to the short vocal sounds. We have the double O short vocal sound also but not in this lesson. Look out for it. And then we have long vocals, but we only have one in this lesson. But I have put up a chart before, and this is the one originally in the book of the long vocal sounds. But we only want to look at the long A, and that's easy because it says A, A. And the word that we have today with that long vocal A sound is the word may, may. And today we don't want to forget our punctuation. We're going to use the full stop, the comma, and the exclamation mark today. And we're going to read during the first half of the lesson in paragraph form. 
Remember, paragraphs are sentences put together that make up a unit of thought. A unit of thought. So all the sentences relate to each other. Okay, are you ready to get started? Here we go. Oh, John! The sun has just set. It is not hot now. Oh, John! The sun has just set. It is not hot now. Let us run and jump. I think it is fun to run and skip and jump. Let us run and jump. I think it is fun to run and skip and jump. See the duck on the pond? Her nest is up on the bank, under the rock. See the duck on the pond? Her nest is up on the bank, under the rock. We must not touch the nest, but we may look at it. We may, we must not touch the nest, but we may look at it. Let's read this one more time without repeating. You ready? I hope you read along or you can even um, turn down the volume and read this for yourself. Oh, John, the sun has just set. It is not hot now. Let us run and jump. I think it is fun to run and skip and jump. See the duck on the pond? Her nest is up on the bank, under the rock. We must not touch the nest, but we may look at it. Well, that's our lesson for today, and I hope you join me for the next lesson, and I hope that you go to the mcguffeyreaders.blogspot.com to get more lessons and worksheets. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.